Well, Carrie Lake, um, <laughs> she is holding an event, okay? And before I tell you about this event, let me just say, so there's no misinterpretation of what I'm saying, that the reason this is absurd and something I'm going to laugh at is not because it's a prayer event. We love prayer. Beautiful. It's what is being prayed about, okay? And what is being prayed about at this event that Carrie Lake is holding, or actually, I prepared this um, earlier and it, it took place today. So um, just took place today and I'll get you video from that in a later show if it's, if it's interesting. But she's holding an event to pray for her election challenge. Now, to be clear, she we've walked through the specifics of what she's trying to allege about the Arizona gubernatorial election and how it was all stolen from her. It's bogus. She's lying. And courts agree with me on that because, um, or maybe they wouldn't say that she lied. They wouldn't um, specify that, but they've agreed that there's no uh, merit to these cases. She originally challenged it, then it went to the, then she appealed it, went to the Arizona Court of Appeals. They um, threw it out and then now she appealed it again and it's at the Arizona Supreme Court and they will indeed do the same thing the last two courts did. But her and her followers are going to pray for that not to happen. Here is a little promotion um, for this. Join us for prayer with Carrie Lake. Let's pray together for the Arizona Supreme Court and praise God with great expectations. And like I said, this actually took place um, earlier today as of when I'm recording this. So they're praying for the Arizona Supreme Court to side with the lies that she's telling but this over the event. Facts. Oh, sorry. And then here was her on Steve Bannon explaining this. But this event's not going to have any political speeches. This is purely you're 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 trying to bring people in Arizona together to pray for guidance and the Holy Spirit comes down onto the on the justice of the Supreme Court. For, to, for them to use wisdom and discernment. Is that correct? This is, can you just walk me through what's going to happen? Yeah, absolutely. We, we decided that, you know, you hear a lot about protesting and things like that, and there's always a time and place for that. The most powerful way, in my opinion, uh, of protesting is through prayer. Prayer is so powerful, and especially when more than one person comes together to do that. And so we decided tomorrow that we would meet uh, for a prayer gathering. We were initially going to meet at the Capitol, but then we found out there were some protests happening, and we just felt that we wanted this to truly be about prayer. And so we're moving it off-site, and we're going to have a location hopefully announced soon. We're looking at um, maybe a pastor who may open up his church or his church parking lot. Would you believe this, Steve? It's really hard to find a place to meet and pray. We looked at some parks and by the way she's purposefully miscommunicating this this is very dishonest saying it's hard to find a place to prayer and then explaining that there were parks that said if you hold an event here and because i think it's last minute and you don't get the proper permission and uh, permits are often necessary to hold events at parks um at particular public places then you're going to get a fine if that's what she's talking about, it's very dishonest to say that it's hard to find a place to pray in America. It's because you would be holding an event. It's really hard to find a place to meet and pray. We looked at some parks and the, the risk of showing up there to pray at, with a group of people would have meant a $3,000 fine and, and possibly arrest. And so we decided- You can go to a park and pray. That's not what you were told. Wow. This is how it's done. You take something that's not even that controversial, which is if you're going to hold an event at particular places, even if they're public places, often you have to get a permit. You have to get permission to hold that event. She's turning that into we could get arrested for praying. Come on. I did um, that. That's not what we're interested in right now. We I could just see the fake news headlines, you know, if, if I get arrested. So we're finding um, maybe a pastor who's going to open up his church parking lot or his church. What, to what? Okay, so what's sad about this is, again, I say, it's not that prayer is going on. That's, um, you know, prayer is beautiful. It's that so many people are so bought in to the lies that Carrie Lake is telling that they'll be praying for an outcome that would be against the facts, an outcome that would be against our democratic process, based on lies about our democratic process, and that's disturbing. That is really unfortunate. And while I know that she's grifting, I know that she doesn't believe these things, 
Her followers do to the point where they'll go to an event to pray about it. And that's honestly really sad. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get the full bonus show every single Saturday, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. Link in the description.